Hello again, we're now going to play with the uh, multi-threaded echo server which uses threading and, uh, and, the, graphical, and the graphical client. So, j just to demonstrate it first, um, the, uh, the multi-threaded echo server is listening on port 5000 and so we've got to make sure the uh, client is, is communicating with port 5000. And they're both, and this, uh, the server's running on localhost. So first, I've got to um, uh, I'll compile the um, the echo ser the server, the multi-threaded, and now I'll just compile the client as well, which is called even simpler. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll get another terminal window up so um, so I'll start the the server so I'll start the server So the multi-threaded echo server is running. So now I'll fire up a um, client. So here's the client. So I'm typing stuff in, and you can see it's appearing on the server here, and. Uh, also it's being sent back to the client. So let's just have another client running it as well. Let's fire up another client. So here's another client. And as you can see um, both clients can communicate with the server. It's echoing back to both the clients. Now um, what sort of things can go wrong when you do this? Well, for example, if the server is running on a different port, so let's um, let's let's uh, so uh, if we make the the client listen on or try and communicate with port four thousand, and if we compile the uh, client, we set the server running off, running again. So now here we get the client running, and it gives us an error. It gives us an error because uh, we've we've got this uh, exception e. It might have been more useful if we'd print it printed out what the actual error was. So if I change this to e, so now I'll um. I'll recompile my client. It says uh, connection refused because there's nothing listening on that on that port uh, on localhost. So I could, if I wanted to, I could change the um, the local the server to listen on port um, four thousand instead of five thousand. And I can recompile my server. Now, if I run the server and fire up a client again, it should be okay because now they're both communicating on port 4000. There we go. Everything's working fine. You see that server's printing out what the client's sending it and it's also sending back to the client and we can see it there. So that's all fairly straightforward.